Lamb shoulder is quite a sexy cut nowadays. And slow cooking meat on the bone always leaves you with a fuller and more intense flavor. Let me show you how I slow braise my lamb. Brown the lamb shoulder in a pan with canola oil, starting with the skin side down until it's golden all over, for about 10 minutes. Now remove from the heat. It's important to brown the meat properly. Not only does it seal in the juices, it also intensifies the flavor. Now take a roasting pan and arrange the chopped celery, carrots, and onions in the center of the pan. These are aromatics only and will be discarded at the end. Take the garlic and bruise. Scatter the garlic in the pan and then place the lamb on top of the garlic. Now pour some wine over it and scatter the sage, rosemary and thyme over the pan. Add some salt and pepper to taste. Now cover the pan with foil and braise in a preheated oven on 100 degrees Celsius. This is slow cooking at its best. After five and a half hours, add the baby onions, cover and return to the oven for another hour and a half. I love spring peas. Their color and their flavor really adds to the heartiness of this dish. They're fairly easy to cook and I like to prepare it this way. Take a pot and over medium heat, add 100 grams of unsalted butter, two tablespoons of olive oil and add the peas. Now sprinkle with some sea salt and black pepper. And cook covered for four to five minutes. Add the sprigs of fresh mint and set aside. Right, now for my final element. I'm going to make soft polenta to accompany my lamb. But you can easily substitute the polenta with pup and prepare it in exactly the same way. Heat a pot over medium heat and add water, milk, some chopped leeks and salt. Bring to the boil and then reduce the temperature to medium low. Now add the polenta while stirring continuously for 15 minutes. If it gets too thick, you can add a little bit more warm milk or water. The polenta must be nice and soft, and it shouldn't be stodgy at all. You can also make it in advance and just reheat it later with a little bit of warm water or milk. Finish the polenta off by folding in two heaped tablespoons of creme fraiche and then parmesan cheese. Stir it all through and keep it aside. All my components are ready and I'm just going to place everything on a platter and give it my signature look. The last few flavors I add to lift this dish and that helps to accentuate that flavor of the lamb is a scatter of oregano, chili, lemon rind and juice. And then some more freshly grated Parmesan cheese. This is perfect as a feast meal. 